guys, welcome back to Crazy D's Equipment. So today we're going to work with the dock today. We're going to try to finish up uh, the iodine tractor or the yellow banana or whatever you want to call this thing, the uh, D12, and get it finished up and get it all out of here for the paint shop. So we're going to kind of hang around and watch the dock work. It's just got some basic little mechanic things you need to do. So otherwise, guys, let's watch the dock get some work done. Okay, so Doc, tell everybody what you have to do to get the uh, yellow banana ready to go. Okay, well, I want to give you a little bit of what I've already done. I have replaced the, uh, the uh, push button that turns the starter and the uh, button or the knob for the uh, to uh, turn on and off the, the electricity. And all I only got left to do, I believe, is to. I have a little work to do on the fuel tank. It's kind of rusty, a little, little rusty inside. And I had to do this, the plug wires, and that's pretty much, and, and put the plugs back in, and pretty much that's what we got left to do, so. Will it run today, Dan? I believe so. I hope so, Doc. All right. Well, get to work. Cut. Dan, I want this thing out of my shop. Are you kidding me? So you got the, or the plugs are in, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And that's all done and rewired. So uh, I want to take this opportunity right now while the doc's working on this, just to thank everybody who came into the live stream uh, Friday evening. We had a blast. Uh, I wanted to ask you guys a question. You guys tell us down in the comments. 
If that was something we did once a month, uh, would you guys would you guys enjoy that? Would that be something you would like um, for us to do? And if so, you know, just throw you know throw me down a comment. Hey, I like the live stream. Uh, no, guys, it's a waste of time. Don't worry about it. But we did have a, a good time doing it, and um, our next big celebration will be when, when the channel hits 10,000 subscribers. And we've been seriously talking about a really cool giveaway for that point. So, um, just so you guys know. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And especially if you enjoy this kind of content. I mean, we do this stuff all the time. The doc's always working on uh, on something, or there's some project coming in. Um, we got a couple videos that might be coming out here soon if things lay out of uh, stuff that we found. We're, and you guys can see us get it out and get it home and that kind of stuff. Uh, the farm all collection is about 60% done, 50% done, 5% done, 2% done. Where is it, Doc? It's about 55, 60%, I think. Done. So all those tractors will be coming up here real quick, here soon. Or you, well, you guys can get a, we'll get a video of us getting them all loaded up and ready to come up here, um, get them on the lot. You know, I kind of kind of don't want my lot to get cut, be clear full of antique tractors, but it, that might be the case through this winter. I got some better projects coming in and stuff. It's just getting everything rounded up and going. Um, so, but, so the, I'm back on this. The doc's got the plugs in. Now, what are you working on? I'm getting ready to work on the fuel system. On the fuel system. So, off to the fuel system the doc goes. Uh, all right, get to work, kiddo. Guys, I think we're at the point we're going to try to start. I got the fuel on, and uh, the tank put back on. I got all the, you see me do a little bit ago, we got all the wiring on the other side finished. Um, other than that, I think we're at the point of seeing if we can get it to start. Um, I know on, on earlier the, the distributor was 
had been removed, so I had to restab it. So we'll see how good I did there, I guess. See if you got it re time drive? I think so, yeah. Okay, well, you go get some fuel, and I'm going to stop this, and we will go from there, guys. We'll see what happens when he gets back with some gas. She getting fuel? Have you got? I'm not sure. Do we want to give her a. We have something left. Got an ether around here somewhere. Yep. Spark. I can smell gas like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. It's it's either it's either I'm smelling the gas from the tractor or the what you spilt on the floor over here. It might be both. So are we firing in the right order then? Could, since that was all screwed up. Reverse at 120? No. I hit myself a little bit. Oh, did you? Yeah. What'd you do? I forgot to get, make sure all the spark plugs were tight. Will that make a difference? It does. All right, plug in. over incredibly good and it sounds like it's got really really good compression it does. like the motor's not I mean I know the 
the motor's been gone through and stuff. But after all this sitting and stuff, I thought there'd be a bit more issue than there is. On top of being stuck twice, you would think the the rings were would be stuck, and they're not. The rings sure don't seem to be stuck at all. No, they don't. Hey guys, while the docks over there rebuilding the carburetor real quick, I just wanted to remind you, if you haven't checked out our social media pages, to go ahead and do that. Um, go to Omega Ag and you can see what's on the lot, and if you go to, uh, and that's on Facebook, and then or you can go to um, Instagram and you can see what tractors I've found. Uh, I was at an auction last weekend, or this weekend, so they're some pictures of the tractors that were on that sale and stuff and uh, if you want, just want to see what, what me and Dan are up to here with uh, Crazy D's equipment check us out on Facebook so, um, so those you know those would be uh, good ways to get a hold of us if you got any questions or whatever and uh, we're working on here soon having a website for some merch and dice if you guys are interested in any of that stuff uh, this evening I'm going to sit down and design the shirts and um, we will uh, have that all put together here in the next month or so. I wanted it done in time for Christmas or something like that thinking that maybe you guys would be interested then but I mean I, I don't know. So but we'll get, we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll get it all done and get it put together. I'm going to go over here and see how far the dock's gotten. Okay guys, so Doc's been working on this for quite a while. I actually haven't filmed for a while for what so much he's been doing. We got the uh, distributor right. We were off a little bit. The carbs cleaned up and it's off 
cleaned or fixed and, and working correctly. We're getting fuel. But when we were cranking, we've noticed something. All the cranking we've done, we've not pulled any oil up to the valves. And then he noticed that the va the exhaust valve, intake, on the intake valve on number two, yeah. is not moving at all. So we may have a deeper issue in here. So he's going to pull the... Uh, pull the uh, the rockers and uh, pull all the the uh, push rods on there. Yeah, I'm trying to think what these things are called, and they're slipping me. Yeah. And see if we got a bent rod, which is no big deal. We can straighten it and see it works. But what we are fearing is when it was that something might have happened, and we might have a broken lobe on the cam. And if that's the case, we may just give up on the yellow banana. So, but I'm going to let the doc do his thing and let's see what we come up with. Actually, not where it should be. One that's I'm trying to. Let's see. It's moving now. What I, I ended up finding that when it was done previous, when the head was put on, they had missed that little guide that it sits in on the uh, lifter. And I think I got it where it should be now. I think we should be good. And we'll get it together and we'll see where we're at from there. So I don't want to be the negatory behind the camera, but didn't you put the head on this last time? No. Oh, Junior okay. Mint did it. Oh, Junior Mint did it. Yes. Okay, all right. So, which I take credit for it if I did it, but that was actually honestly Junior Mint. Now, why aren't we getting oil up here to it yet? We are. Oh, we are. Yeah, there's. Or just we haven't got enough pressure built up to to, to get it all the way. Okay, well, good. At least we know it's not super major, anyways. Okay, well, let's put her back together. Uh, you got your gapping tool so you can gap those right again? Yes.
what we come up with is the dog's going to have to backtrack a whole bunch. It might not got the, the distributor stabbed in right. And with the valve that was missing, it, it ended up just being, you know, not, stab, not stabbed in the right junior mint. And uh, so... Which that was, I think, that's why I'm not stabbed. The distributor's not put in correctly. It's, it's not it's moving like it should be, and I was... I'm not in time where I should be. Not in time where you should be. So he's going to come in in the morning and get on this. We will share it when it runs. He also promised me this week he'll have the 8 in done. And we got a head to do finish on the 601. And you got two tractors and sitting, uh, waiting to come in as soon as these three are gone. And then you got. Uh, to finish the farm wall collection because I'm going to put that on the lot. So, um, no dilly daddly, Turtle Man. There's a lot to do. <laughs> so, but hey guys, thanks for coming in. Thanks for watching this episode. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Check out our social media. And um, thank you guys again. And don't forget to leave your comments if you want us to do more of those live streams once a month. We would do that if that was. If, 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 if enough of you want us to do it. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you, catch you Saturday.